Hi everyone, this video is for how to create an account using WAMAP, just in case you have not used it before. One of the first things that you do want to note here is you do want to go to WAMAP.org and not WAMAP.com. So this is the landing page that you will land on when you enter in that address. Um, if you are new, then you would want to register as a new student, and this will open you up to a new screen. And here I'm going to kind of create a fake account here. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to call this person Stu Dent. Um, password can use anything that you really want, um, especially if you want to use the same password that you've been using for your student email with Pierce. That would be probably a good idea. And we'll say last name uh, is Dent, first name is Stu, and student at Pierce. Edu. Okay. Now, with regards to what's happening down here, you will want to include a course ID. In this case, um, I'm just going to use this, this as an example. And this information, the course ID and the enrollment key, are included on uh, the welcome page on Canvas for you. Um, and then I'm going to use that as my enrollment key. So once I've entered in all this information, which is pretty similar to anything that you've probably ever done in setting up an account for some store or um, some sort of mailing program online, um, we'll go ahead and we'll click the sign up button. And so now it's told me that my account has been created and I've been enrolled for course 14208. Um, so in order to actually get into the course, we're going to have to return to the login page. So we're going to use that, um, that link. And I have some auto-filled stuff in here, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my username and password for this scenario. We're going to log in. And again, if you're new to uh, WAMAP, you're only going to have one course that's um, situated over here on the left. If you've had previous courses where you've used WAMAP, you'll probably see a listing of all those other courses as well. But um, once you are done, or once you're in, we'll go ahead and we'll click that link, and we're already into the course. So um, that's it. I hope that that was helpful.